Hi, welcome back friends to Ness's Nook. Today I'm going to go ahead and um, I bought some uh, meat the other day at Kroger's and I didn't know for sure what I'm going to do with it, but I thought, well, you know, we have not had this in a really, really long time. I'm not a fan of meatloaf at all, um, just to let you know. But it's only going to be... Mm, Pink polka dots. It's only going to be a very small loaf. It'll be enough for dinner tonight. Um, maybe even a little bit left over. I'm not for sure. But um, I'm going to go ahead and take the meat, and I'll show you how I usually get this. Um, how I usually mix this up. Usually I mix the meat up in my KitchenAid, but my bowl's dirty because I made a whole bunch of videos today. So I'm going to kind of show you kind of like how I do it, and. Um, then meanwhile, what I'm going to do is take a smaller bowl because I'm making a Philly cheesesteak meatloaf. Now, I don't mind the Philly cheesesteak meatloafs because, you know, I just like all the stuff that's in the Philly steak. So, go ahead and I should probably bring you down here. Hold on one second here. Bring you down here and you can kind of see what I'm doing. So, I'm going to go ahead and take a little bit of mushrooms. Now all these are freeze dried here. Let's just put my oxygen absorber back in there. I don't leave this open for very long because it actually, you know, you need to have that not be air getting out and stuff. But I am going to mix a little bit of the green peppers and onion actually in the um the meatloaf also. So there's going to be some onions, green peppers, and mushrooms. Now let me go throw some hot water on here real quick, get these started, get um, reconstituted. Now these um, freeze-dried vegetables actually takes Hardly nothing at all. I mean, would you believe it? I mean, these are almost already all back. But I'm going to have to wait a minute, so that's not a big deal. So, what I'm going to do is I bind my meatloaf with um, oatmeal. So, I'm going to go ahead and get this hamburger opened up. Put on my little fancy dancy gloves. Because I don't really care to touch raw meat. I don't know why, but... I'm just not a fan of it. So, I'm just going to go ahead and throw in what I think would be enough. Now, I also, I don't think I have any provolone cheese. Yeah. I don't have any provolone cheese, so I'm going to go ahead and um, just do mozzarella cheese, which it will work. And let me throw a little bit of oatmeal in here. Just going to throw a little bit of onions to mixture here. Sorry about the washer noise. My cat decided again for the second week in a row to get sick on our bed. So thank God for washers is all I can say. So anyways, this is my own freeze dried onion powder. And then I'll do some garlic powder, a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper. Put the lid back on this. All right. And then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to mix this together. Let me get out the, hold on, let me get the other stuff out real quick. I mean, obviously I've been really busy with videos. You're not going to see them all today because, you know, then if, I don't have anything to post in another day, then I'm not going to be able to go ahead and get anything posted. So I'm going to go ahead and just mix this together. Now, one thing about the dry ingredients, this is why I don't like to do this. Um, one thing about the dry ingredients, it's going to help soak up any of the fat that's actually in this hamburger because this is... Um, I think this is 80 20. It's what Kroger's had on sale. And I wanted to make sure that 
I have some fresh because I wanted to try to make this. And what I'll probably just do is um, make a batch of this and actually put it in my um, KitchenAid. And um, that way it can be just ready that way. So go ahead and spray the pan. And now, like I said, that's got the onions and peppers and stuff already in here. So push this down. And what I'm going to do is kind of make like a, a small little trench type thing. cheese in there and I'm gonna go ahead and spoon in move this stuff over here so you can actually physically see spoon in some of this mixture of the green peppers onions and mushrooms you know and push that down Now my sister, she does not like Philly steak stuff. I don't know why, but I don't think I don't think growing up, I don't think we ever, I don't think we ever ate a Philly steak, anything. I don't remember, I don't remember ever having it. But my my idea of our childhood and my sister's is two different things. She has a lot better memory of things that happened versus me. So. Now usually you could go ahead and put a little bit more cheese on here, but I need to make room for that meat. So I'm just going to do a very, very light dusting of this, and I should have probably used my next size up container. But people thought I was joking, you know, with my new apron that I like, um, that I like, uh, um, polka dots. My sister bought me this set. Some group I was on on Facebook and they they were talking about um, I can't remember what these are but they're something I think QVC sells and um, it's a really popular brand of stuff. It starts with a T I can't think of what it is but um, everybody's like oh my gosh, oh my gosh you gotta have some of that and you know so I saw this the polka dot of pans and I knew that had to be mine <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna go ahead and put this on a um, tray just in case this does um, spill over with the grease that it probably will I still have some left over but like I said I'm probably gonna make up another batch so that will be fine and I'll bring you back once I get this actually out of the oven all right, I'm going to go ahead and make the sides, and I'm going to go ahead and use the, the steamer pan. Put that in my saucepan, and I will cook my broccoli. That's usually about a good 10 minutes. Then I'm going to go ahead and start the water, and we're going to make my um, macaroni and cheese with the cheese sauce that I have canned myself. So I'll bring you back on this. All right, just drain the noodles on that, and I'm using my cheese. And just going ahead, and I put a little bit of milk in there because I like it to be a little bit more creamy than not creamy. And this sure does beat paying the price for Velveeta, that's for sure. I'm not a super fan of of uh, macaroni and cheese anyways, but Mark likes it once in a while, so 
because he lets me have the stuff I like, I let him have the stuff he likes, and we're all happy together, right? Okay, well, I don't eat salmon still, <laughs> but I'll, he'll fix it and stuff like that, so that's not a big problem. I mean, look how nice that looks. I did put a little bit extra, the what was left of the uh, mushrooms, onions, and um, peppers on top, and a little bit more cheese. And then this should be just done in just a couple seconds, and we'll have dinner. So anyways, this is what the meatloaf is looking like. And my husband checked it, and he says that it looks all done. I'm really glad I put an extra pan down below because that would have got my June really, really dirty. And I'll let him take this out of this little container. He could probably have that biggest piece there. Maybe you want to put that on there. Yeah, that's fine. That's gonna be yours. Yeah. Probably might break apart. But are we done anything? Yep. Okay, we'll take a small piece. Looks done to me. <clears throat> Alright. Let me get this other stuff real quick here. And the, ouch steam got me macaroni and cheese and that's one thing about doing your own macaroni and cheese like that you can see how much or how little you want and then get another spoon just have to add butter to this But the broccoli is all nice and steamed. I just love broccoli. I don't know why, but I do. So, this right here, friends, is dinner. So, thank you very much for stopping by. This is Philly Steak. Meatloaf. Have a great, wonderful day.